All right, we turn now to Dr. Jen Ashton for some answers to things you're asking about. Dr. Jen, first question, is it recommended for pregnant women to receive other vaccines like MMR or smallpox before they give birth? Okay, great question. And just briefly, MMR, no, not recommended during pregnancy. We don't give any live or live attenuated vaccines during pregnancy. Smallpox, it depends whether it is after an exposure, then the benefits outweigh the risks, but pre-exposure, no, generally not recommended. And then the things that are recommended, influenza vaccine during pregnancy, recommended and approved in all three trimesters, very, very important, not just for the pregnant woman, but to protect her fetus and, and future unborn baby. And also Tdap, that protects against whooping cough. So we normally give that between 27 and 36 weeks. All right, Doc, question number two here. Has the COVID vaccine been tested on those with autoimmune diseases? TJ, I'm getting this question all the time on social media and from my own patients. Latest guidelines from the American College of Rheumatology suggest based on moderate evidence that people with autoimmune conditions or rheumatologic diseases would be at higher risk for COVID-19 and therefore should be prioritized ahead of that of the general population. However, there is also some moderate evidence that suggests that people with autoimmune conditions may have a somewhat blunted immune response to the vaccine. But overall, the thinking at this point is that the benefits of getting vaccinated against COVID outweigh any risks. All right, Dr. Jen, this is a personal question. It came in from a viewer after you announced you were going on an all plant-based diet while in quarantine. So here's what they ask. I thought that <laughs> soy was not good for us. Read an article about soy not being good for men. Confused. Mm-hmm, yes. And first of all, TJ is actually the one who inspired me to try to go all plant-based while I'm on quarantine. And here's the thing with soy. The research is really all over the place because it depends on the type of soy, the person eating the soy, the quantity of the soy, even how it's prepared. In some studies, there's been shown to be a pro-estrogen effect with soy. And in other studies, it's shown the opposite, an anti-estrogen effect. And we know that soy is a complete protein. It's loaded with fiber, really good for us. And basically, when I was getting my degree in nutrition, the teaching was you would have to eat so much soy for it to do any harm that generally, if you eat it the way you would eat anything else, it's probably fine. I'm eating a lot of soy this week. <laughs> All right, Dr. Jen, thank you. And you're looking great as always. You can submit questions to Dr. Jen on our Instagram at Dr. J Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.